it in, in, in your Bible if it's no good? And why are you going and using the scriptures then if it's no good? Second Timothy, chapter 3 and 16. Timothy chapter 3 and 16. And we learned last night all doesn't mean all. But I got a picture there to show you that all means all. Second Timothy. I want you to read that dictionary after I get through with this scripture. Let's make sure all means all. Second Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for it doctrine. For doctrine. For reproof. For reproof. For correction. For correction. For instruction. For instruction. And all righteousness. All scripture, not part of it. It's not the old scripture. It's not the old testament of part of the scripture. It's the old testament scripture. If it's not scripture, then it's no good. But if it's scripture, it's good. Before Moses came. Amen. That's right. That's right. 
So Moses didn't start music. Let's go to Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel 28. When God created Lucifer, in heaven he had music in him. It started in heaven. Not only that, God has his own trumpet. Yes, it started in heaven. Hold 28. And I want you to go with me to Luke 24 and 44 so we can understand the separation and the differentiation in the Old Testament. Luke 24 and 44. God makes distinctions. Watch now, follow in the scripture. Don't condemn it till you read it. 24 and 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of now, Moses. Now look how he breaks that down. The law of Moses. And in the prophets. And in the prophets. And in the and songs. And in the songs. He breaks them down into three categories. All right, if the Old Testament was no good, what was the New Testament saints using before the New Testament was complete? When Jesus said in John 5, I think in 39, search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life. The New Testament wasn't complete, it wasn't written. So he was telling them, search the Old Testament. Search the scripture. Was the New Testament there? No. Search the scripture. That was when Jesus was walking on earth. Search the scripture. For if you think you have eternal rise of life back in the scriptures. And the New Testament wasn't even complete. Amen. Amen. You know it's right. John, Matthew 11, 12. And from the days of John the Baptist, I remember I told you there was a law of Moses, the prophets, and the song. Look, look what this says. Uh-huh. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent taken by force. Uh-huh. Now watch this. For all the prophets, all the prophets, and the law prophesied until John. All the prophets and the law prophesied until John. Uh-huh. And if ye will receive it. Now notice he says the law and the prophet came unto John. But he does not end the songs. The law and the prophets. To show you that the songs that David said has some bearing in the church, let's go to Acts chapter 2. To back up the resurrection of Christ in Acts chapter 2. Go ahead. 27. 2 and 27. Let's, let's go up. Let's go up to 2 and 23. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, uh -huh. whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, uh -huh. because it was not possible that he should be holding of it. Uh -huh. For David speaketh concerning him. Uh -huh. I foresaw the Lord always before my face, uh -huh. for he is on my right hand, that I should they, not they be talking about David speaking. He uses David to proclaim and David saying to show proof of the resurrection of Christ. But well, some say that, that doesn't have a place in the scripture. In, 
in the book of Acts chapter 2 when the Holy Ghost failed and they needed an example of and some scripture proof about what was happening. They said this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Why did they go back to Joel to confirm a New Testament event? Why go back to what Joel said to confirm a New Testament event? Psalms 149 Psalms 149 and what? Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Uh huh. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Uh huh. Let Israel rejoice in him that made it. Let Israel rejoice in him that made it. Let's talk unto Israel. Let the children of Zion be And let the children of Zion. We got Israel. Now we got the children of Zion. Keep reading. Let them praise his name in the dance. Uh huh. Let him. Let them sing but praises. I want you to go back to 49 and 1. Read 1. Praise ye the Lord. Uh-huh. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Uh-huh. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Uh-huh. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Uh-huh. Let the children of Zion be joyful. Read again verse peace. 1. Read again verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Uh-huh. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Uh-huh. And his praise in the congregation of of saints. In the congregation of saints, but the last saints, uh huh. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Yes. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Israel, the children of Zion, uh huh. Let them praise his name in the dance. Yes. Let them sing praises unto him uh -huh. with a timbrel and harp. Yes. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. The Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Yes. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Uh huh. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Yes. Let the saints. The, are you a saint? Read. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Uh huh. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Uh -huh. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Yes. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Uh huh. To execute upon them the judgment written. Yes. This honor have all his saints. Praise you the Lord. This honor have all his saints. All it is an honor, not a disgrace. Is it an honor to all his saints? Read. This honor have all his saints. Praise you the Lord. Uh-huh. Uh, does, 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 continue to read just a little bit because I want to pause with you. Read. I want to get on the point there. Continue to read. Praise you the Lord. Uh-huh. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Uh huh. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his mighty acts. Is God still doing mighty acts? Yeah. Have the acts stopped? If the acts stop, then stop the music. But if the mighty acts of God are still going on, you ought to still be praising him in his form. Continue to read. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him. Is he still great? Uh-huh. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sound of a trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Uh-huh. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Uh-huh. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Uh-huh. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Uh-huh. Praise him upon the high sound. Well, everything cymbals. may not be everything in this uh, next verse. Read. Let everything. Let everything that have breath. Wait a minute. Can everybody take a breath tonight? Well, if you got breath. Like this. 1 Samuel 16 and 13. The reason he doesn't like it, it 
it reminds him of something. He was a chief musician, lost his position. First Samuel 16 and 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil. Then Samuel took the horn of oil. And anointed him in the midst of his brother. And anointed him in the midst of his brother. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David. From that day forward. From that day forward. So Samuel rose up. Samuel rose up. And went to Ramah. And went to Ramah. But the Spirit of the Lord departed. The Spirit of the Lord left Saul. And an evil spirit from the Lord An evil spirit got in him. And Saul's servant said unto him. Uh huh. Behold now. Behold now. An evil spirit from God. So you got a demon in him. How did he get it out? Read. Let our Lord now command thy servants. Command your servants. Which are before thee. Uh huh. To seek out a man. Seek out a man. Who is a cunning player on a heart. Get somebody that can play. He got a demon in him. It was the devil in him. It wasn't God's people. It was Satan. Continue to read. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. When the evil spirit. That he shall play with his hand. He shall play with his hand. And thou shalt be well. And thou shalt be well. The devil doesn't like music. Not God's people. God's people always enjoy. Hallelujah. And remember, music did not start with the law. Give me revelation. And when he had taken the book, when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders uh -huh. fell down before the Lamb. Fell down before the Lamb. Having every one of them harp. Every one of them had a harp. Every one of them had a harp. Every one of them. Every single one of them had a harp, except one, if he's an elder. That's those who don't believe that music. It's for the church today. Instrumental music. Look at the elders. Remember that. Each elder had a harp. Well, some say, well, they didn't play them. Isn't it amplified? If they have a harp, they have it for a reason. Do you have a car? Do you have a car just to sit in the driveway? Do you have a car just to sit there? You got a car so you can drive it. If they got a harp, what do they have it for? So they can play it. And if the heart in this scripture means your voice, then you asked me for a demonstration last night. I want you to give me Emmanuel with the heart. Give me a let me hear the drum come out of your throat. Let me hear the guitar come out of your throat. Revelation 18. Revelation 8 and 1. 8 and 1. And when he had opened the seventh seal, when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. There was silence in space in, in, in heaven for about a half an hour. And uh -huh. I saw the seven angels which stood before God. And I saw seven angels standing before God. And to them were given seven trumpets. And to them were given seven trumpets. And uh, another angel. Wait a minute, seven trumpets. Were these God's angels or hell's angels? You heard of hell angels before, haven't you? Whose angels are these with seven trumpets? God's angels or hell's angels? Read. And another angel came and stood at the altar. Uh huh. Having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense. Uh huh. That he should offer him with the prayers of all saints. Not just angels out of heaven. Keep reading. Upon the golden altar which was before the throne, uh -huh. and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God uh -huh. out of the angel's hand. Uh -huh. And the angel took the censer and filled it Get with the Get the sixth fire. verse. Get the sixth verse. And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded. Yes. And then followed hail. The first fire. angel did what? Sounded. Sound. Get me fifteen and one. And remember, this was God's instruments. 
Music didn't start in the law. <laughs> Revelation 15 in one. And I saw another sign in heaven, uh -huh. great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. Uh -huh. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, uh -huh. and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, uh -huh. and over his image and over his mark, uh -huh. and over the number of his name stand upon the sea of glass, uh -huh. having the harps of God. Having the harps! Having the harps! Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount, Mount Zion, uh -huh. and with him 140 and 4,000. With him 144,000. Having his father's name written in their foreheads. Uh -huh. And I heard a voice from heaven. I heard a voice from heaven. As the voice of many waters. As the voice of many waters. And as the voice of a great thunder. As the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers. I heard the voice of harpers. Harping with their harping. When you look at this, in, in, in verse number two, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters. Now some would say, do you think those are literal waters? That's why it says, as the voice of many waters. Before that, oh, yes, you're welcome. The next verse says, as the voice of great thunder. And I want you to tell me, thank you on this one. And I heard the voice, not as of a voice of a heart, but the voice of heart. It's used in, I, 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 I'll get the dictionary for you. You need it. The fact is, as is missing when it comes to the heart. Now why did he drop it? Why did he drop it? Read it again. And I heard a voice from heaven. Start at verse 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And with him 140 and 4,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers, harping. Not as the voice of harpers, but harp, harping. Give me now Matthew 24 and 31. Now you don't, you don't want to get so tied into a thing that you don't get the scripture. We read the Bible. Amen. Don't hold on to tradition so long that you're going to deny what the exact scripture says. If the Bible says it, don't hold it. Do what the scripture says. Get Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound. He shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together. Now, now they... notice this. Wouldn't this seem very, very wrong to tell your children, I don't want you with no horn. But I'm coming to get you and I'm going to blow my horn when I'm ready for you. <laughs> Doesn't it sound bad that God would tell us, go have no music in the church? When he blows the trumpet and I hear, I'm going to say, yes, Lord. If you don't believe it, you hear it. He goes, I know God. That's not supposed to be in the church. He's coming back with a trumpet. And I'll be looking for his voice. I'll be looking to hear him when he can. What are you going to do? What are you going to do?
to give him a quote on that one. First Corinthians 15, 252. In a moment, that's, that's preparing you not to expect this coming. 15, 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. At the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound. For the trumpet shall sound. Uh -huh. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And the dead shall be raised. Uh huh. Incorruptible. Uh -huh. And you shall be changed. Uh huh. First Thessalonians 4 and 16. Read it if you will. Four and sixteen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. Uh huh. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. I don't. I don't actually answer one question earlier if I can. That is, where the where, 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 where's music authorized for Christians? Christ Jesus plays, and that's my authorization. The one that started, and the one that says, "I am the Christ." That's the one. First question. Since we can sing songs, now you notice the scripture, the, the, the scripture you says, let him sing songs. Now, Psalms is in the Old Testament. Psalms 150. Why can I sing one Psalms 150, but I can't do Psalms 150? I can sing it, but I can't do it. Let him sing songs. Why can I sing a song that I can't even do? Since we can sing Psalms 150, according to the Bible, James 5:3. Uh, Ephesians 4, you got, you got those. Why can't we do what it says as to play uh, my capitalism finish? Is there any scripture in the New Testament that condemns musical instruments? Show me one that condemns it. Show me three of them that condemns it. And that says it verbatim, that condemns music in the church. Word for word. Some say man was not given a, uh, let's go to four. The scripture says, we must worship God in spirit and in truth. John 17 and 17 says all of God's word is true. If we can worship him in spirit and in truth, what part of Psalm 150 is not true? In Revelation 14, 2 through 3, the hearts were literal because the symbolized word as is not there. Can you prove that they were symbolic and that as and that they're not literal. What is the difference between the instruments of God and the instruments of David? What would be your view of the New Testament musical instrument used by God's angels in the gospel and the book of Revelation? Now some will say, well, that was in heaven. But the scripture says the prayer that they were to pray, thy will be done in us. 